Iron Man, an origin story. This is Tony Stark. When Tony puts on his special armor, he becomes more powerful than most people. He even calls himself something different. The Invincible Iron Man. But Tony wasn't born a superhero. He hasn't always fought to protect people. Tony didn't always get the job done this easily. Or this well. A while ago, Tony's armor wasn't so sleek. In fact, when he first became Iron Man, Tony's armor didn't even shine. But if you really want to know how Iron Man was born, we need to start with the man behind the mask. We need to start with Tony. Tony had so much money that he could go anywhere he wanted and he loved the finer things in life. But Tony also worked hard. He was a brilliant inventor. He knew all sorts of things about science. He loved to work with magnetic fields. Using them, he created a powerful energy force that he called Repulsal Technology. The military was interested in Tony's work. In fact, it, it was in a secret army lab that Tony's life was forever changed. An enemy army had attacked and Tony was badly hurt. Since Tony was famous, he was recognized right away. The enemy knew all about his inventions. They tossed him in a prison room filled with electronic and mechanical equipment. They wanted him to create a mighty weapon for them. To make matters worse, before the enemy left the tiny cell, they told Tony that his heart had been hurt in the blast. He didn't have much longer to live. Tony soon found he was not alone in the cell. The enemy had captured another famous scientist, Professor Jensen. The enemy wanted the two men to work together on the great weapon. The two men worked tirelessly to create something that would save Tony's life. Finally, they completed the device that Tony would always need to wear on his chest to keep his heart beating. But that wasn't all they created. Tony put on the armor and proved that no walls could hold the Iron Man. Having escaped from prison and saved Professor Jensen, Tony flew back home. But almost as soon as he got there, he realized that he could now help where others couldn't. Tony to the rescue! He was strong, unstoppable, frightening. Maybe a little too frightening. Tony thought that Iron Man needed something as smooth and stylish as Tony was. He needed to create a lighter suit. All he needed was for his chest plate to remain attached so his heart would not stop beating. Everything else could be changed. A new Iron Man was born. As Iron Man, Tony protects people all over the world. And when he's not fighting for justice as Iron Man... Tony runs his company, Stark Industries. Stark Industries might need Tony to be a businessman. But with new villains attacking every day, the world needs Tony to be... An Iron Man. Heroes aren't born, they're built. What do you think of that?